Hey guys, Anthony Pietrobona here back with a midweek market update. In this video, we're going to go over where the market went these past couple days, where we think the market's going to go to finish this week off and in the coming week. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you trade, and without further ado, let's dive into the charts. So we're taking a look at ES futures on the daily chart. It's Thursday morning, 7.30 a.m. pre-market, and we're at 39.82. And I got in my short at 4070, so short is doing well. I'll show you basically what happened. So we traded up onto the Monday, and I started shorting at 4060, and I got in an ad at 4080, and that brought my average to 4070. So my TP is 3850, and looking to hit that by the end of March. Right down here, that's where I have this alert set. My stop is at 41.40, TP being 38.50, and average entry at 40.70 short. So we're gonna let this ride. I, I would move stops to break even because I don't see us trading back to break these highs at 40.80. And if we do, it would kind of invalidate what I think. So we're holding this short for the 38.50 target by the end of March. What we've been seeing is a dollar surging, rates surging, and we've seen gold falling. And that's all a recipe for stocks to fall. So if you take a look at the dollar, we had this huge candle here on Tuesday, broke above and had this breakout. That's what caused a lot of the downside. Uh, combining that with the two year and the 10 year. So two year, just breaking out, hitting 5% and then 10 year coming up and hitting at 4% and staying around 4%. All that has been putting pressure on the market. And then we have HYG, which has been continuing to sell off. So we're making a higher low here. I personally think that Thursday today, we're going to probably make people lose a lot of money on the short side. So I'm thinking we open up down, maybe have a sell off in the morning, but I think it kind of gets bought up all day and we may be closed green just because I think that NFP Friday uh, is gonna be bloody. So I think that what they'll wanna do is have us go up today, let's say ES, get closer towards that 4,000 level again, maybe even 40.20, and then Friday, pre-market sell off and really push to that 39.50 level. But I'm not looking to play any longs whatsoever, so in terms of my day trading, I'll still be looking for shorts, but if I do see in the morning on my my day trade account that we're basing, then I'll start to take some some longs if I, if I see the opportunity. But that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I still think that we're gonna hit that 3850 area by the end of March, and I'm holding shorts because of that. So I just wanted to give you an update on my current positioning and where we think the market's gonna go. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.